This hill is dangerous. You have to be very careful. You can flip over backwards. You can flip over two, three times going down this hill. I mean, you see the videos, you know, you see what can happen. You get up there and you things start bouncing, all of a sudden it's like, okay, where's this thing going? And a lot can happen in a split Whoa, second. That'll get you in trouble right there. That separates the men from the boys right away. It's like, if you want to run this one, climb this. For potato salad hill. Thought we'd come over here and just take a look. Found a local who seems to know the line and is showing some pretty good promise. When you're sitting in the seat, you're shaking. The adrenaline was just crushing. Now we're gonna give it a shot to TJ. So we'll see how that goes. The scary part of it is if things don't go right, it, it's it's barrel roll. I mean, you're gonna be a yard sale, Matt. I got my first Jeep when I was 19. It was a 1990 Jeep Wrangler. Probably within a year, I destroyed it pretty good taking it off-road. I've owned three Jeeps. This is my third Jeep. It is a 1941 Willys MB. A serial number somewhere in the 2900s. It was made on December 9th, 1941, two days after the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. This has been my dream Jeep, is that old flat fender World War II Willys but with the Toyota four-cylinder, Toyota axles. I love the Toyota stuff. Sorry, Jeep people. I had to do it. I'm about to go do the Fins and Things Trail, uh, my first time four-wheeling in Moab, and it's gonna be fun. This looks pretty steep. Just follow the crack up. Yep, that little fault line, just keep your Passed your tire right on it. All right. Nice, easy pace. For me, the Jeep Jamboree, in part, is an opportunity for me to come out here and run these trails with support. Woo. A lot of people refer to this as rock crawling. And so the key is traction and control. And you do that with suspension, uh, gearing, and differential lockers. Climbs right up it. Yep. Where am I going, straight down? <laughs> this is like exactly the Moab experience that I wanted when I, when I signed up for this, so it's great. My father passed away almost six years ago from pancreatic cancer. This was our stomping ground for about five summers straight, southern Utah. And so that's why I chose to come to Utah for my big vacation this year, um, kind of in his memory, see some of the places that we used to go together and have fun and do some jeeping. We always get a kick out of the younger people coming up behind us. They'll slow down and look at the Jeep, and then they'll pull up alongside of us and they'll look and they'll get that shock look of what are these old people doing with that Jeep? <laughs> We're in our 70s now. We could be sitting at home in a rocking chair watching TV, but we'd rather do this. We get a lot of slack for being Gene and Gene, but everybody remembers us because of the names. This will be our 24th Jamboree, and this is our seventh Jamboree here at Moab. When we get to these big obstacles, some of these can be intimidating. There are you know, some world famous obstacles that we're gonna to hit today. Uh, White Knuckle Hill, it's a drop off, and a lot of times you'll see the two rear tires come off the ground. Trails generally are rated one through 10. We do eight, nine, and 10 rated trails. Yep, got it, good job. We like the higher rated trails because it's, it's more of a challenge. You end up with some nice steep ledges or you're good running along the edge of a cliff. This is what we live for, this type of rock climbing. It's exciting. You don't get a lot of places with these combinations of climbs all on one trail. 
When we bought this Rubicon in 07, we put flat fenders on. We've gone to 37-inch uh, tires. We put a four-inch lift kit in it. I put in a 513 gear set in both the front and back, which is great for rock crawling. Oh, 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 watch out! It's exciting to know exactly what your Jeep will do. It's just an adrenaline rush. We made it. Oh, that was the most awesome thing. <laughs> it was, that got the adrenaline running. I've always enjoyed things that, that, that go fast. I grew up on dirt bikes, started dirt biking when I was five. I actually rode a dirt bike before I rode a bicycle. So I've always enjoyed things that, that, that go quickly. I, I think the thing that really changed this for me was joining the Jeep Club and, and seeing the family fun, and then seeing that my, my wife and, and my children actually enjoy it. And that makes all the difference in the world. Perfect mode. You got it. Double bump, Chris Duke. Just Jeeps of Omaha is a group who just like to enjoy the time they have with their Jeeps. So the whole idea with coming out to the Jeep Jamboree in Moab was to, to get an opportunity to do a park that wasn't in our normal locale. So we've got seven Jeeps in total coming out from Omaha making the 900 mile trip to, to enjoy this. My Jeep is a, uh, it's a 2000 Wrangler, it's a TJ. Uh, it's got the four liter, uh, it's been upgraded with 456 gears, it's got a Grizzly Yukon locker in the rear, it's got a lunchbox locker in the front. It's, it's been a project it's, and it's a work in progress. When Putting together the trip, I started to talk to my dad about some of the dates to see if he'd be interested. He's taught me a lot about driving in general and then specifically off-road. Bought him the ticket and uh, presented him to it for a Christmas present. Said, hey dad, you're, you're going on the trip. I was worried about being passenger, but Brian's done a really good job. I know I could have done better, <laughs> but he's done okay. <laughs> That's obviously true. That's because everybody. I've been helping him and guiding him and directing him. <laughs> I think there's truly something, something special about getting out to, to bond, get out in the Jeep. That's intense. It's looking, looking pretty wet, yeah. He's going over. You okay? Hey, buddy, you okay? That's called the bathtub. I don't know if he's going to try it or not. He's, he's thinking about trying it. He probably will. You know, you, you've got the slick rock, as it's called. It's not slick at all, it's like sandpaper. So you can climb things at angles and at, at degrees that you couldn't if you didn't have that surface to, to play with. Moab's it, man. He's got it. Right out. Yeah! <laughs> Dad, that was awesome. It's hard to talk. He does such a good job at it. It's scarier than hell to watch because you know what can happen. But damn, he's good at it. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that was intense. That was awesome. I think if you have a Jeep, you have to go to Moab. It's like Moab is Mecca for Jeeps. This is really country you can't experience without a Jeep or a four-wheel drive. The nice thing about being in the Jeep, too, is look how open we are. We can see everything around us. You can't do this in your car. You're going to kill your commuter. Carburetor fuel injected? Fuel injected. Okay. All right, yeah, just start climbing, just nice, easy pace. It's a little bit of an adrenaline rush, you know? You hit that, you feel your wheels starting to spin. It's quite the Jeep. Potato Salad Hill. Uh, we just finished up Hell's Gate for the day. Thought we'd come over here and just take a look. We've all seen Jeeps flip backwards off of it on the videos. If you don't know the line, you're not gonna get up there. You're gonna flip over backwards, flip over sideways. Found a local who seems to know the line and is showing some pretty good promise. Showed us what to do, now we're gonna give it a shot in the TJ. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, 
that was crazy. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, your first time in Moab? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. And you've just done Potato Salad Hill. I've been thinking about this. I, I thought, honestly, even as we came out here, I thought we just came out. You know, let's take a look at it. Let, let, I, I did not imagine that we would get a capable spotter and that we'd be able to come up here and clear this thing. It's amazing. But this is it. This is pinnacle. This is key. A little bit about White Knuckle Hill. It's uh, we're going to drop off of it. Probably six feet tall. Uh, going to be at about an 85 degree angle. When our front tires hit the bottom, we want to make sure that we accelerate, and that's going to keep us from rolling over frontwards. Oh. Well, that's where it is, right there. Oh. The problem I saw is when he went over, he picked up so much speed so quick. You know, if That's that guy hadn't the, had them on the rope, yeah. he would have gone right over. Looks scarier than heck. I'm not sure if I want to do it, but it's all up to Gene because he's driving, so. He'll make the decision he won't do anything to hurt me purposely. I don't think so. Okay. I don't want to take a chance. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It don't look good. Look at that. You stopped it. Are you going to do it? Yep. One way or another. See you at the bottom. See you at the bottom. <laughs> Ready for the drop. This is going to take Mike. a couple years of, of life. <laughs> it's going to make you 75 in a hurry. <laughs> You're okay. I just aged four years, so I'm 75. You are not. <laughs> we will remember this the rest of our lives. We did it together. We conquered it. Yeah, we've been all over the country, and we're conquering four-wheel drive roads like this one and having fun doing it. Overall, it was a great experience. It's why I have this thing, is to go do this, to go kind of push my little truck to its limits to get a little bit of that adrenaline. Because uh, uh, sometimes it's scary. You're coming down some of those steep descents, and uh, it really feels like you could roll over pretty easily. But uh, at the end of the day, you conquered it. You did it. It really did remind me of my dad and the summers we used to spend out here. Anytime I can do something to honor him, uh, I do. I do. He was a great man. And he touched a lot of lives, uh, mine one of the most. This is our 24th Jeep Jamboree, and it was awesome. It's the best one we've done. It's been the most extreme that we've done, and we did it all without doing any damage to the Jeep or ourselves. That's the fountain of youth. Keep experiencing life and moving. I don't know what could have made it better. We had a great time. Didn't break anything, got a couple scratches. Went over some crazy, crazy, crazy obstacles over two days. Uh, went on some stuff that's just world famous and had a wonderful time. Couldn't ask for, for a better time. You know, some family time, obviously, tons of Jeep time. Uh, I was hoping he'd drive a little bit and uh, finish off some of the worn out parts, but he didn't, so I can't <laughs> blame him for breaking it. But yeah, great time. Awesome. It's good stuff. It was awesome.